Aloha, dear sweet family of light. It's me, Lisa Trenton and Brown. And I'm going to talk a bit differently today. Uh, this one's going to be about molecular uh, structures of our physical body and the physical world out there. Frequency bandwidths and how all is affected through the activation of light and structure. Yes, I know I have a video drag, so I apologize, but it catches, and I'm trying to work on that, and I haven't figured it out. So we're going to talk about particle physics. Uh, we're going to talk about photonic light. We're going to talk about molecular structures and frequency bandwidths according to consciousness and how the grid work um, is created, exists, collapses, and how light transforms density, um, which is beautiful. And I'm not going to go into major crazy detail um, because my purpose is not to lose anyone. My purpose is to tie things together so they make a bit more sense. Um, as we start to wake up, as we start to become conscious beings again, as we awaken to multiple dimensions, um, our job here, if you will, is embodiment, the embodiment of our light. Now, this embodiment of light is what causes the exterior reality to appear to fall apart. It is what our bodies go through a transformation trying to hold. And light is a higher frequency, bandwidth-wise, than our old carbon-based dense bodies. So they have to upgrade. They can't hold all the light. Our physical structure, our bones, our muscles, our teeth. We held the density of that entire reality out there inside. So anytime we don't like something, we know, go inside, get straight, get into alignment, fix it. Do whatever we need to do in our physical world so that the physical world can realign. Now, particles. We are star beings. We have star particles. We have crystals inside our body. And this is a huge part of the process. And once you activate your light body, um, then as different frequencies activate, they will activate the crystalline structure within us, our new DNA. And this is a part of our evolution here as star beings, as multidimensionals, masters, all of that stuff here. Um, as we open our heart, there's a chain reaction that sets off inside and light is activated, which is where um, our dark becomes visible. It's where we wake up to the illusion and the illusion inside the illusion and the film strip and the plays and the holograms. It's where we start to see. It's where we have new awarenesses. It's where new information comes from. It's all of it. It's beautiful. All of our existences cease to exist. Mm -hmm in other capacities, in other times other than this one. You bring them forth here. You walk as this. And uh, everything changes as you do. Now, as you embody light, the density falls away. The density activates the old play, the old programming, for us to see it. And our job is to transform all into light. Now, there comes a point uh, that as you have activated enough light, um, antimatter, um, physical matter, one, they hold different properties, if you will. Um, there is a, a part of the process that you activate antimatter as a universe. It is it's Earth 3, and it is the transformation of all into light. Density doesn't exist anymore. Dark doesn't exist. Uh, that was an old program. It was an old part of the illusion that we all played in. Um, at, for however long we needed to be there. Some it was short, some it was long period, some didn't even see it. Um, just depends. Each journey is different. The physical structures of that entire physical world outside are held inside your structures inside. Now, frequency bandwidths. Um, as these activate higher states of consciousness, the lower bandwidths collapse. Mm, wrong words. Uh, that, that's not what I'm looking for, so hold on a moment. The frequency bandwidths are the fibers 
that held everything in place, the particles held everything in place. And as we activate two new frequencies, um, the old ones disintegrate, if you will. Everything integrates inside of us as one. But the old structures that were held in place, the old physical world that was held in place, the old people in our reality, that everything that represented separation and density out there falls away as well as we stop participating in those old things. We, we allow, we master energy by re removing it from our reality by saying no. Um, it's a part of the mastery process that we start to understand that we're very powerful, um, that we hold all power uh, within, and we start saying no to the old programs, the old plays, the old illusion, and we don't participate in it anymore. And we actually will, um, there's a part of the process that we all become way showers and we step up. And we don't wait for others anymore. And um, we go do it. And we allow everybody else to catch up or come through when they're ready. And we meet up with other way showers. We connect up with other light workers, um, uh, grid keepers, uh, whatever words you want to use, uh, pillars of light. Uh, we have uh, workers, if you will. And everybody has a role here. And our job is to focus on ourselves, to get our own light up. To become the uh, gatekeeper, the grid keeper, the anchor, um, the light bearers, the lighthouses, you name it, all of those things here in physical form. Um, we hold the grid of consciousness in place for each dimension inside of us. And as we do, we expand beyond the limits of the old dimensions um, at will. Now, the more we can expand our consciousness, uh, the more dimensions we get to play in. Uh, the more dimensions we get to play in, the more we get to affect the outcome. Um, as a human, we're affecting the outcome. As a higher self being, we're just allowing things to transpire. Because all you do uh, when you do this is you activate a frequency and you, and you allow everything to come to you. Uh, you really kind of don't have to do a whole lot other than what you're shown, other than what you feel inside of you, other what, than what you know. Um, it is a very easy existence, and eventually there is no in alignment, out of alignment anymore. You're just synchronizing, synchronizing, synchronizing to new frequencies all the time. There is no um, suffering that goes. Physical pain, yes, there is physical pain. And I had somebody um, bring this up to me recently, why I would talk about this and put this in people's mind. I don't put this in your mind. It's there. Um, not that it's there, but it's a part of the physical reality. We have human bodies. They hold density, and as the density goes, we have to go through a tuning process. We have to go through an upgrading process. And the embodiment and the holding of light means a complete trans configuration process. And what we are evolving into now is beyond anything we ever understood. Uh, it's beautiful. It's magnificent. It's a very organic existence. Um, as our body communicates intelligently, our cells move about. They're doing all kinds of work um, beyond cool. It, there's just no way to describe. Um, there are times it does get intense, but we understand it. We welcome it. We appreciate it. We're like, yay, this is awesome. More intense means more awesome. We go to bed. We do whatever we need to do to get through it. Um, the whole physical body is reconfiguring itself. It is mutating. Our X gene got activated um, several months back with the delivery, if you will, the activation of our original body template, our cosmic or galactic templates. Um, schematics were activated, new geometric symbols, um, tons of knowledge, and the ability to stream source light with great ease. Um, we might go to sleep here and there. Uh, we might have a day, we need to sleep more. Um, there are some days we don't know how we can function, and this is a part of the process. One thing that's really, really, really important is to understand that we have to honor the process. The process first. Everything will be okay. Everything will be more than okay. It'll be awesome. But at the time, our human part of us doesn't understand it, and it wants to question everything. It wants to know first. Uh, we understand the process inside of us. We don't have those limits here anymore. There's no polarity. There's no duality. There's no fight. It all goes. Uh, so energy. Um, I'm going to go into a short energy report for the month. Uh, we've been clearing every energy there is out there. 
We've been clearing collectively, um, observing. How about observing the clearings, observing the transcendence of many uh, collective energies that have to come up? Um, I'll receive the words that day of what's going on, or I'll see multiple things out there where these things continually occur and that'll tell me that that's what's clearing for the collective that day. Um, hypocrisy is a big one. Um, stepping up and getting busy. Um, there's a part of this process, um, and this is going to be uh, the energy for September, because um, I don't usually do energy reports, but I decided today I would, because September is focus on your physical embodiment of light. Focus on expanding your perspectives. Focus on transforming all into light. Focus on what you need. If you're being shown to get out there and do, then get out there and do. If you're being shown to move, move. If you're being shown to get still, to sleep, sleep. Honor what you're being shown inside, what you feel inside that you need for you. Um, pay attention to when your mind tries to tell you to do something else or, or isn't okay with what you feel you need. Uh, because this month, um, we started a few days ago, even the... It's amazing, uh, just the whole thing. The temperature's changing. Um, molecular restructuring is going on. Cellular um, reprogramming. Cellular upgrades. In every moment. Um, there is a lot of work going on inside our bodies as we upgrade. And for some, it can be quite intense. Sometimes it can be all I can do is sleep. That's most important. Um, our bodies are reworking the systems and how they function as well. Urination has changed. Um, we don't, a lot of days we don't urinate at all, but our bodies mist in crystalline. We have a crystalline mist. Our bodies then bead up like a plant. And, and we pour water out of all of our pores. We are becoming very porous. Um, even, our, even our teeth breathe and expand. Our bones are expanding and contracting. Everything is expanding and contracting. Um, so a lot of people have been noticing problems with the feet the last few months. There's no problem. It's a part of the expansion process. Our entire body breathes. Um, they were dead, if you will. We were zombies. And the whole body is going organic. Bio-organisms, if you will. You name it. Everything is occurring inside. We are genetically modifying um, to living organisms. And light runs through us. Every cell is intelligent. It's working. It's, it's amazing to experience and observe. So trust your body. Trust what you feel. Honor um, what you know. That's most important. Um, heart. And some are going through massive chest wall expansions and, and breathing apparatuses and the entire uh, muscular, uh, um, endo, exo, um, muscuscal, musculo, <laughs> yeah, musculoskeletal the system, I can't say it, doesn't matter, um, is being upgraded. All our muscles wake up feeling like we've worked, work, work, we have, we're working a lot in the sleep. So this month is to focus on you. This month is to get in service, if you feel. This month is to do and produce when you can. Go to sleep when you can. Get out in nature. Um, do whatever it is that is called for in the moment. Don't overcommit. This is a big one. Pull away as much as you need. Um, if you feel that you've slept for years and you're done sleeping, then get up and get busy. Start contributing. This is an existence where you contribute everything that you've got where you are the one supporting you are the one getting out there and there's one part of this process that a lot didn't understand and we all go through it along the way we pull away we work on ourselves. we understand we've paid attention to ourselves. we understand our triggers we've managed to master ourselves. but then it's time to go in the outside world and actually walk as a multidimensional master, a higher self being in the physical. This means interacting with others and becoming angels and guides. This means mastering all of your exchanges. This means helping others from a place of love, not because they lack anything, but because this is who you are. 
Um, this means connecting heart to heart. Totally exquisite exchanges. It means learning how to master the energy of all things, every experience that you have. No longer giving your power away. This means standing in your power and, and remembering how to interact as a higher self being with other higher self beings. This means remembering that everybody out there is conscious if you allow it. This means speaking from a place of love and being love and pure and authentic and true in every moment. We are see-through. We are not just translucent all the way through us. We don't hide not one thing at all. This is us. And everything here is sacred. We hold integrity. We hold honor. We are love. We are light. So, this month is the most important period and phase that you've ever been in, that we've ever been in. It's amazing. Um, honor it and expand your perceptions. Go beyond what you currently think you believe. Embrace that which makes no sense but you know inside. And we are in such expanded dimensions that realities are unlimited and outcomes are too. And this is a huge one because we live in moments now of alternate realities. You get to pick and choose the outcome of your, your reality now. Um, this is you. Every moment of it. You have the power of all inside. Mastering that. Being present in the moment. Transmitting. We not just transmit. We don't just radiate. We emit now. Every cell. Every fiber of our being. Every cell. Alive. Literally. Now the structures of the old. Consciousness have a couple different options. The words recently uh, of the time that we're in uh, will depend on where we function from. It can be an exterior experience or it can be an internal one or you can transcend it altogether um, by working within yourself and, and mastering it, your universe, literally. Literally expanding your consciousness, your super consciousness field to become your light ship here. Um, there's a lot going on. It's awesome. Um, the old dimensions of consciousness, the, the ones of lower bandwidth frequencies, will go into what is called imminent collapse mode. Now, this can be physical structures. This can be um, a belief system. This can be exchanges. This can be physical things. It, it doesn't matter. But if it represents the old frequency bandwidths of the old realities and the limited dimensions that we started in, a lot of us, then they will go into collapse mode. Um, there is a lot of things that have to occur as we move into the higher frequencies. But cool part is that if you move through and into and embody and hold the higher frequencies at all times, you will not be affected because your outcome will be dictated by the frequencies that you hold. So pay attention to yourself. Upgrade your own light. Activate your own light and, and, and work on your emb embodiment, holding that frequency long enough for it to become yours. There's a lot. So I hope this helps. Um, but for September... Super, super September, amazing September, um, beyond anything we've ever experienced thus far, and it's always that way, each time it's going to be that way, um, alternate universes, literally, the omniverse, multiverses, all available, and most of the time, you realize that you live in a different universe, the other, the old one doesn't even exist anymore. So how far that's going to go for everybody, we don't know. But embrace it all. Expect it all. Be ready for it all. Don't limit yourself. While, in present moment, working with whatever you need to do. 
and many are ready to step into service in the physical. This is a necessary part of the process that everybody become a part of contributing to the new. Uh, we create the change. We are the change. We do it ourselves. We are the way showers. We are the grid work of the new earth consciousness and beyond. So, um, let's do this, loves. I love you um, from so far beyond this place. And I shall be seeing you very soon because we've got a lot of stuff going on. Hello. Have an amazing everything. And I'll be seeing you soon.